Hey Taurus Collective, what's up Bull Gang? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Let's see what's going on for us Taurus. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Oh Lord. <laughs> Flip the rose if you need to. It could be past, present, future energy or someone else around you are picking up on. We start with Karmic Lover. You got a Karmic Lover here. They could drink too much. Seeing those glasses and that wine. Wine, I said wine. Wine, they could also be, um, I just heard a charmer. They could be taking other people out on dates, but we ain't going to spend too much time on them because look who you have coming towards you. You got ready for love, tall and handsome, no games, once commitment, emotionally available, and knows how to treat a woman. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. This could be a water sign or an earth sign coming towards you. What else? What else? Somebody coming towards you also could have a karmic lover. I don't know. From the past. We have the poser. Faking a happy relationship online or in public. Hmm. Chameleon here. Hmm. It's kind of hard to say which what that might be. Because I'm feeling like for some of you, you could be tired of faking like you're happy in a relationship. Um, others of you that could be your person who's tied with this karmic lover. I mean, when I look at this, I get y'all know how how Instagram. Everybody posts everything for everybody to see. They show their food. They show you know what I'm saying. Like everything is all about the the highlight reel. Somebody's only showing the highlight reel of their life. They care about their appearance. They care about their um their reputation in the public eye, as opposed to like really being happy. But there's somebody coming towards you. This person could be at least forty years of age or older. This feels like I'm getting king energy with that. I'm getting king of pentacles. I'm getting king of cups. So it could be a Scorpio or another Taurus or an earth sign or water sign. Or it could be any sign. But they might have a karmic lover that they're tired of posing. Because this poser, I'm just getting, I definitely get like this staged. Oh, look where we were. We were in the south of France. You know, you know that type of energy. And it's like, please, <laughs> you were in the south of France with somebody you can't stand. Okay, so we have time out. Timing, patience, waiting. And then uh, time is of the essence. We have deep regret, remorse, guilt, responsibility. There is regret over past actions. And then we have true love. See, that's what I'm talking about. Look at this. Costume and pretending. Disguise. Some of you dealing with somebody that just fakes and pretends. Spider web, caught lies and deceit. Some of you have a karmic lover that's trying to act like they're happy with somebody else. But you have a true love coming in. And this person is showing up as... It says love, union, coming together. The connection between you is genuine and true. So you have a genuine connection. This fool sitting over here. I feel like somebody thought you was going to keep waiting for them. With time out. And they got regret because they about to see you move in with somebody else. Mm -mm. Let's get into it. Into it, let's get into it. Let's get into it. The Knight of Pentacles. Somebody was dragging their feet with you. This karmic lover. Somebody that was moving slow. Could be a Virgo. Somebody you waited for for a long time. Could have been someone you work with. Or you were just trying to work with them. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. You were trying to work with them. They could be slightly younger than you. You got this Knight of Pentacles shoe. I, this, I tell you what, I don't think they're younger than you. They could be, but I feel like this person is showing up as somebody who's just not on your level. Because this is a level down. This is the next level after the Knight of Pentacles is to become the Queen of Pentacles. So this is somebody who, even look at the way that this person is kneeling down. You're on your throne. Taurus, I feel like this is you. This is Capricorn energy and Virgo energy, but understand, it's both, both of these could represent any of the Earth signs. Just predominantly Virgo and Capricorn. But I feel like, I mean, this could be you. You could have a Capricorn Saturn placement. That's that's a possibility for some of you. I mean, it doesn't have to be the case, but you could. <clears throat> no, I don't know why. When I'm doing these readings now, I always feel like I'm choking. I haven't had this happen in a long time, but it's coming back. So, yeah, what was I saying? You could, um, you could have a Capricorn... Uh, Saturn placement, or you can have a Virgo Venus placement, because that's what the Knight of Pentacles is. Okay, so this is this feels like somebody who's not exactly on your level that was trying to shoot their shot at you, this karmic lover. 
Again, it could be a Virgo. Let's see. Or this person was slow to show you that they cared because this is like showing people that you care. Maybe they were slow to show you that. Yeah, the Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles is juggling. Capricorn energy. So it's essentially, this could be a two-year relationship, two-year age difference or something here. If this is not your energy, this could be the person coming towards you who was dealing with this. Somebody is financially stable here. And I feel like somebody else is like trying to be with this Knight of Pentacles. What's the two of pentacles? Yeah, the hermit and the knight of swords. This is somebody that played ghosting games, y'all. This is somebody that's hot and cold. There's a push and pull with this person. This is a sudden arrival, a sudden departure. And this is always ghosting to me. That's just what it feels like, the hermit. I mean, the hermit does represent taking time apart, taking a break from your partner. And it also represents like um, soul searching, contemplation. It's not a bad card, but when it's coming out with the Knight of Pentacles, I mean, sorry, the Knight of Swords with this energy of a karmic lover, this is somebody that tends to ghost. Hmm. Very impulsive person. Like you, you never know what to expect from them. That's a person on autopilot. So there's no real rhyme or reason or thought process to anything that this person does. And they keep showing up as a knight. I keep telling y'all that. Like y'all keep pulling people who just seem smaller than y'all. And I, I don't necessarily think it's in stature, although it can be. I feel like it's more about stature in another way. Like this is why you're meeting this person here who's ready. This person is somebody who has their stuff together. This is what you're ready for because you got your stuff together. So you need somebody who can love you the way that you love. I got time for this goofy stuff. What's the hermit and the knight of swords? Yeah, the nine of wands. Jesus Christ. So this is, somebody left you with PTSD. This is an ongoing battle. This is when you're at the end of your rope. Some of you are just like, I'm done. You know, I'm, I'm, I've tried. I'm trying to hold on. Some of you have, you're giving this person like one last chance. Could be a Sagittarius. You have Sagittarius in your chart. I'm giving you one last chance to get it right. That's for some of you. Others of you, you're just like, I'm done. Some of you have already done your soul searching. Your time apart from this person has given you this awakening. Because the hermit is also a spiritual awakening, enlightenment. So some of you are getting enlightenment that you're like, I really don't need this person. The next time they come my way, I'm just going to tell them no. What will you do the next time you hear from this person? The eight of wands. You're going to block them. This is blocking energy. This is return to sender. Some of y'all might be giving them, um, you might be putting them on block and their messages won't even be delivered to you. This is like something losing momentum. Somebody here has just blown it. And I keep telling people, this is what you don't want to do with a Taurus. Because once we get to the point where we feel like this, mm -mm, ain't no coming back. Most of the other signs, you could get them to come back. Not with a Taurus. Six signs in general are not going to come back, but especially Taurus. Taurus is like, mm -mm. Eight of Pentacles in the chariot. Moving on. Focused on my money. You keep pulling that Eight of Pentacles. Some of you have some kind of advancement coming in your money. Something is like growing in your finances and it's growing quickly. The Temperance and the Hierophant. With the Hangman. Oh my God. Yeah. So some of you, like I said yesterday, the day before one of these days, you found your peace. You found your peace. And some of you are just looking for your soul tribe. You could be meeting a lot of people who are very like-minded, spiritual people, you know, people that you share those kind of sentiments with. It just feels like the right people are being put on your path. You also have very strong personal boundaries. The hierarchy represents strong personal boundaries. And you also know your marriage material. So you're not going to settle for anybody um, ghosting you, coming in and out, being hot and cold. No. It could also be somebody you're married to. So what's, let's look at this new person, tall and handsome. So I told you, this other person over here give me small, small in stature. I feel like financially, and also for some of you, it can even be physically, but this person showing up as tall. They could be dark skin, clean cut, could like to wear hats. Who is this person? The Knight of Wands. Oh, they sexy too. They could be an athlete, body look good, very charming. Could be a Sagittarius. We have the Page of Cups in reverse. Hmm. Why? What's the Knight of Wands? 
the four of wands this is marriage material four of wands is 11 11 twin flame energy could be an aries or you could be on the aries taurus cusp this is a sense of belonging just like the hierophant is so yeah this is you finding somebody the thing about this person is they look good you might think on the surface this person is a player but this person really wants to settle down this is laying roots this is somebody that's locked in it's about structure Number four is about a foundation. This is somebody who wants to build a foundation with you. It also talks about a community, a home. So there could be people in your friend circle, your community hooking you up with this person, or you could bump into them in your community. I just heard this person is a homeowner. They have like a nice, big, beautiful home. What's going on with this page of cups in reverse, though? I don't know about that. The king of swords. Oh, okay. You know what's going to happen, Taurus? Your person doesn't wear their heart on their sleeve. They're going to do anything for you. Don't get me wrong. You're going to have fun. They are fun. It's not like they're sticking the mud. I feel like, though, um, they can have a very serious job. They can have a very structured life. With the four of wands coming out with the king of swords, this person is very decisive. But they might come across as a little bit nonchalant, a little bit unbothered, a little bit desensitized um, to, like, stimuli, if you get what I'm saying. The page of cups in reverse hmm i mean it could mean a lot of things but the fact that it's clarifying ready for love it is possible it could be younger than you but hmm. you know you might find out that your person had a drinking problem a drug problem in the past i feel like they've overcome it though with the king of swords because this is authority this is leadership. This is accomplishment. This is father figure, masculine, sound-mindedness. And it's clarifying the page of cups. Your person could have been a player at some point. They could have been very immature at some point. But this person has grown up. Let's see more. Show me more about the knight of wands and the four of wands. This person can have like a bachelor pad. I, can, I just get like a single masculine judgment. Yeah, I feel like this person has made so many drastic changes in their life because they have, you know, that's about recognizing the error of your ways and looking at your um your past and kind of reconciling who you are right now, looking back at your past. Like, okay, damn, this is what I used to do. It's self-assessing. Hmm. Yeah, it says rest in peace. Carpe diem is here. So I feel like this person is ready for the new. They they put some things to rest. They put this player energy to rest. They're ready to settle down. They want to lay roots with someone. Show me more. Two came out. Yeah, the nine of cups and the three of cups. Yeah, so I feel like this person definitely is a ball of fun. This could be a Pisces. could be a um, Cancer. Some of you may meet this person over the next three to um, nine months. Also, just be aware this could be a spirit baby. For some of you, there could be some passionate sex and you might end up pregnant very quickly over the next three to nine months. Some of you could already be pregnant. You could be three to three or nine months pregnant or anywhere in between, to be honest with you. But um, this is like having fun, getting together, drinking, partying. And this is definitely like sexual energy. So you might and it's also it also represents nine months of pregnancy. So you could find yourself pregnant by this person or maybe they feel like that's what they did in the past. They could have had a baby with someone and maybe it came out of a night of fun and they're like, oh Lord, I'm never doing that again. So <laughs> they're they're more strategic now. This person is definitely not playing games with you with the King of Swords here. This is a fair partner. This is somebody who does value their partner, respects their partner. But I feel like in the past, there's something that happened, maybe a baby or um, some kind of soul tie or something they created with somebody that they're like, I'm never doing that shit again. What's this King of Swords with the Page of Cups in reverse? They've definitely taken control over something. It could be drinking, it could be drugs, it could be partying, it could be selfishness, it could be, this is like man-child energy or woman-child. Like just getting control over their emotions. Yeah, Queen of Wands is here. I'm definitely getting your person looks really good. Um, could involve an Aries that they were dealing with or something. Yeah. So they're ready for something serious. The Hierophant came out anyway with the four of wands. So this person is ready for marriage. They they've outgrown just looking at people on the surface. And they're ready for marriage. This could be another Taurus, could be an Aquarius. 
could be a Scorpio. What's going on on Aries? What's going on with this faking a happy relationship online or in public? This part, somebody's stupid ex is trying to make you jealous or something. Yeah, Ten of Wands. And they're over there fighting an uphill battle. They're not even happy. they worrying themselves to the point of being sick. Somebody wants you to be so jealous <laughs> that they're making themselves sick. This could be a Sagittarius. They could also be in a one-sided relationship, carrying all the weight, the temperance. Mm. They want it to look like they're in a harmonious relationship, but it's really stressful. Strong Sagittarius. What's going on with this Ten of Wands? The Page of Pentacles, the Six of Swords. So they're watching the loyal Taurus move on. This is your spirit, guys. They're watching you move on. You're taking your loyalty, your love, your dependability, your friendship, your offer. This is a golden opportunity. They know that's what you are, and they see you moving on. So this is why they want you to be jealous of some other crap they got going on. They can also have somebody dependent on them, being a dummy. What's the temperance? If y'all don't know, I'm from Baltimore. We call people dummies. <laughs> okay, so temperance is the empress. Okay, so look, Taurus, this is you. They want a reconciliation with the empress. That's what this is. They over here pretending like, yeah, look at this. Time and patience and waiting. They're waiting. Time is of the essence and then deep regret. Because they know that you're moving towards your true love. Mm -mm. Ain't nobody falling for that. This could be a Gemini. This could be a Libra. Um, yeah, or Sagittarius. This is somebody that wants to reconcile. This is about reconciliation. They want to make peace with you. Extend an olive branch towards you. Because they know that you're a golden opportunity. What else? This is a mess. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. They know you have a soulmate coming in. You have a date with destiny. This is something. This is like a moment of truth. That's why they feel like time is of the essence. They know they're running out of time. This is divine time and this is divine timing. They know it's only a matter of time before you meet the person who treats you like who you are. The Empress. Divine Feminine. This is being put up in the lap of luxury, y'all. This is the kind of man who's coming to take care of the Empress. This is what you're attracting. They could definitely be brown skin. It's a lot of brown skin. You know I love your brown skin. Somebody with brown skin could be coming towards you. And it's a soulmate. Four of swords and a five of pentacles. See this little timeout that they took from you? Libra energy. And Taurus, this person could have just like disappeared. Four of swords is like staying away. Peace and quiet. Like, they could have just went quiet on you because this is your energy here. This could be a five-year relationship. This could have happened over the last four weeks. I'm seeing six weeks. I'm seeing ten days for some of you. Three months, nine months. Four days. What else am I seeing? I'm seeing eight days, nine days, two years. So, any of these could be significant. Bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Pentacles. I love it. So basically, that, that Five of Pentacles, what you want to see after the Five of Pentacles is the Six of Pentacles. Because this is you recovering from a loss. And this is you getting reciprocity in a relationship with this other person. With the brown skin. You cut somebody off. This is about the ultimate choice here. Some of you are really done with someone. Could be a Gemini, could be a Libra. Let's get some of my cards and see. How are they seeing you? How are you seeing them? And what is the likely outcome? I think we already know. Queen of Swords is off with your head. You're cutting somebody off. You're choosing somebody who is tall. I want to say dark and handsome. Who is equally yoked with you. How are they seeing you? The past person. They're seeing you as the moon in reverse. Self-deception, coming clean, releasing fear, and destroying illusions. This is a yes card. Could be a Pisces. Could be a Cancer. Could be a Scorpio. Um, but this is Pisces, Neptune. Your person, or you can have a Pisces Neptune placement. However, I mean, it's the moon, whatever. Um, they're seeing you as somebody who is coming out of an illusion. That's how they're seeing you. They're seeing you as somebody who has had your wake up call with the wheel of fortune here. They feel like you're going with the flow, you're not forcing anything anymore. You're trusting in divine time, and you know that you have somebody coming towards you, or they know it because they know you're a good catch. This is when the cat is out of the bag. 
I mean, it can talk about self-deception, but I feel like it's not. I feel like it's you just literally destroying illusion. So, Spirit, show me how um, Taurus is seeing this person. We get the magician in reverse. Mm -hmm. Manipulation, sleight of hand, illusions. And that's crazy because we have destroying illusions. So, you literally are destroying their illusions. You see them as cunning and deceptive, not ready, waiting, unprepared, or ill-prepared. Wow. You see them as a trickster spirit, a master illusionist. This could be a Gemini or a Virgo or just somebody with the gift of gab. You feel like you don't trust them. You feel like they are um, not the one anymore because the magician is the one. You feel like they're not the one. You got a big old no. They're seeing you as a yes. You know what it is? A lot of you are cloaking your energy. You're hidden. You're, you're like really mysterious like the moon. And they want to know what's going on with your emotions. You're not showing them anymore. What's the likely outcome here? I'm going to take this one. We got the seven of swords in reverse. Coming clean, rethinking past decisions, turning over a new leaf and a new lease on life. And this is a yes. I told you they are self-assessing. They feel stupid. Could be an Aquarius. Mm -mm. So you got a yes that this person is. They're on the shadow aspect of the seven of swords, but that's a positive thing. I mean, it can be like, it can be negative but this is showing up as a positive meaning that their feelings for you are that way that's not your feelings for them not at all i don't think you really care then we have the seven of wands exactly so you are defensive it says defensive protective you're protecting yourself you're asserting yourself you are taking the high road but you have the courage of your convictions and you're not dealing with them you can have leo in your chart or it could be a leo so i'm gonna get a piece of advice for you taurus and i'm gonna let you go i'm gonna let you go Let's see. Spirit, so give me a piece of advice for Taurus. What chakra do I feel like you're in? These are chakra cards. I feel like Taurus. I feel like you're in like either crown chakra energy or third chakra. Third eye chakra energy. I feel like you have seen the light. I mean, but you can also get a little bit of solar plexus or sacral because I feel like you're confident. So it could be either of those. That's what I feel. I mean, we did have the eight of pentacles, so that could be like the the first chakra, your root chakra. I don't know. Let's see. I don't know. Third eye. I was right. Okay, so it says intuitive perception. I know that what my intuitive senses tell me are true. I know that what my intuitive senses tell me are true. I open myself to the truth that is within me and around me, and I know that it is there for me to receive. I practice developing my intuition, and I know that is a major aspect of who I am. Um, it says, in the stillness and silence of meditation and contemplation, I will experience and know the truth. I think I told you all that yesterday. Yeah, we do have the hermit here. Yeah, I told you. I feel like you're getting like this period of rest, introspection. You start to see this from a new perspective. And you did have the... Um, oh, what did I do with it? You had the hangman. The hangman came out too. I don't know what I did with it. But that is a new perspective. So that's when you change your mind. You see something through brand new eyes and you're like, mm, mm So the third eye chakra, some of you could be indigos. Okay. Some of you are very wise. You are detaching. You are discerning. Um, you feel inspired. You trusted in God. You did have the Hierophant. You are leaning a lot on your faith. Now that is Saturn, Neptune, and Jupiter energy. Hmm. So what would you get if you put all those together? So Saturn is about discipline responsibility i feel like you are your responsibility your your responsibilities are keeping you disciplined right now neptune is like imagination it does represent like the subconscious mind it does represent illusions okay so i feel like a lot of you have you've curbed those illusions just like it said in the um the card you're you're destroying illusions because i feel like you know that you have to be responsible for yourself you can't trust in this karmic lover and then Jupiter is about growth and expansion, and it's also fun. So I feel like you're like turning a corner here. And it has a lot to do with what your intuition is telling you. Your guys have been really working with you. I think I told y'all yesterday that, you know, they wanted you to listen. It's funny. I was listening to another reader this morning. I forget her name. I don't think her channel is her, her name. It's more just, a, a, you know, her channel name. I can't think of it, though. Um, and I only watched a little bit of it because I was driving. And it was funny because she pulled that same card for Taurus, um, the listening card that I pulled for y'all <laughs> yesterday. I thought that was interesting. 
And she she was talking about um she was talking about how, you know, you might be meeting somebody who will sweep you off your feet. That's crazy because the eight of wands just fell on the floor and that's and it fell in the upright. And that does talk about somebody like sweeping you off of your feet, a whirlwind romance moving really quickly. It's very fast. Strong attraction. So um, she was saying, like, make sure, you know, you, you pace yourself because maybe you shouldn't rush into it. We do have the Knight of Swords here. Um, yeah. So, I mean, that could be a message, too. Maybe her message and her reading just came to me as a message to you. I don't think this new person has anything for you to worry about. I think it's going to feel good. I think they're serious. It says that they're not playing games. They want commitment. The Hierophant is here. They do want commitment. But, you know, just take your time, get to know this new person and, and you know, make them prove it, make them earn it. Because Taurus, I'm going to tell you what I feel for the Taurus Collective. We too good for a lot of this crap that we've been through. And I'm saying we, even though I'm not really going through anything, but I'm just saying I'm a part of the collective. So I feel like, you know, I don't like when people be trying to act like Taurus is not a good sign. Like, are y'all crazy? Taurus people are solid. I'm not saying we don't have screwed up Torian people. I have met some. <laughs> they exist. But what I'm saying is, as a whole, Taurus is who you want in your life. That's how she even started her reading. She was like, who who wouldn't want a Taurus? And I don't think she is a Taurus, but she, she was just, you know, giving us all props because we deserve them. I told y'all, it's time for you to be rewarded for the work and effort you put into your relationships. It's time for you to get somebody who gives that same thing back to you. Why does he make me think of D-Nice? A combination of D-Nice and Rev Run when I look at him. Y'all see it? <laughs> Maybe somebody's initial would be D. Or that could be their nickname or something. I don't know. Y'all could already be talking to somebody. Because I am noticing he is facing the past. So this could be somebody you already know. This could be somebody that you, you maybe you never dated them before, but maybe you have, and they could be coming back around like a solid person, not this karmic lover. All right, Taurus, that's what I have for you. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you all the next time. Peace.